So this morning, we are going to read scriptures before we get into prayers. And I want us to read Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles chapter 7. And I'm going to read from verse 1. He said, when Solomon finished praying, fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifice and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. The priest could not enter the temple of the Lord because the glory of the Lord shielded it. When all the Israelites saw the fire came, coming down and the glory of the Lord above the temple, they knelt on the pavement with their faces to the ground and they worshipped and gave thanks to the Lord saying, He is good, His love endures forever. Then the king and all the people offered sacrifices before the Lord. And King Solomon offered a sacrifice of 21,000 head of cattle and a 120,000 sheep and goats. So the king and all the people dedicated the temple of God. The priests took their positions as did the Levites with the Lord's musical instrument, which King David had made for praising the Lord, which were used when he gave thanks, saying, His love endures forever. Opposite the Levites, the priests blew their trumpets, and all the Israelites were standing. Solomon consecrated the middle part of the courtyard in front of the temple of the Lord. And there he offered burnt offerings and the fat of the fellowship offerings, because the bronze altar he had made could not hold the burnt offering, the grain offering, and the fat portion. <clears throat> so Solomon observed the festival at their time for seven days. And all Israel, with him, a vast assembly, People from Libo Hamat to the Wadi of Egypt. <clears throat> On the eighth day, they held an assembly, or they had celebrated the dedication of the altar for seven days, and the festival for seven days more. On the 23rd day of the seventh month, <clears throat> he sent the people to their homes joyfully and glad in their hearts for the good things the Lord had done for David and Solomon and for his people Israel. When Solomon has finished the temple of the Lord and the royal palace and has succeeded in carrying out all he had in mind to do in the temple of the Lord and in his own palace, <clears throat> the Lord appeared to him at night and said, I have heard your prayer, and I have chosen this place for myself as a temple for sacrifice. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command locusts to devour the land, or send a plague among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin 
I will hear their land. Now my eyes will open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. I have chosen and consecrated this temple so that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will always be there. As for you, if you walk before me faithfully as David your father did, and do all I command, and observe my decrees and laws, I will establish your royal throne. As I covenanted with David your father when I said, you shall never fail to have a successor to rule over Israel. But if you turn away and forsake the decrees and commands I have given you and go off to serve other gods and worship them, then I will uproot Israel from my land, which I have given them, and will reject this temple I have consecrated for my name. I will make it a byword and an object of ridicule among all people. This temple will become a heap of rubble. All who pass by will appall and say, Why has the Lord done such a thing to this land? And to do this temple, people will answer because they forsake the Lord, the God of their ancestors, who brought them out of Egypt and have embraced other gods, worshipping and serving them. That is why he brought all this disaster on them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. We see all from the dedication of the temple to the Lord appearing to Solomon. Hallelujah. And it says that Solomon, when he finished praying, Fire came down. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Solomon was never a priest. He was a king. Hallelujah. He said, when he finished praying, fire came down, and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. Filled the temple to the point that the priest and the people could not look in the temple. It was so much. It was so much. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Even before the sacrifice began. Hallelujah. And the Bible says for seven good days there was a celebration. There was a celebration for good seven days. Hallelujah. That the thing that they used for sacrifice was too small. So it means that not even the Father David has ever done such sacrifice. You see? The thing is, we treat God the way we see him, the way we perceive God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody has ever done such sacrifice before Solomon. Nobody. And God appeared as he has never appeared before. God was pleased. He said, after prayer, fire came down. Glory came down. That is going to be our portion tonight, or this morning. This morning that the fire will come down, and the glory of the Lord will fill your life, fill your house, and take over every necessity, every trouble, every power that have held you bound, that have messed 
up your family for many years, that the glory of the Lord, as it appears, will sack them from their jobs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> will make them quit this morning. Solomon was a king, a very outstanding and spectacular king. He began to offer this sacrifice because of what he perceived God to be, of what he knew God to be. God was all in all. Because everything was organized he said the priests took their position. Levites took their position. They were instrumentalists. Hallelujah. Just like David has made for praising the Lord. They took the trumpet. Everything was in place. Hallelujah. You know, God is a God of God of organization. God loves to organize. Do not scatter your life and then hope that God will bring it together for you. No, God will give you instruction on how to do it. There's always a part for you to play. Of course, when God provides food, you don't expect him to come and give it to you in your mouth. The food is going to be there until you stretch forth your hand to eat that food. Then it will not mysteriously jump in, inside your mouth. So you have to stretch forth your hand, take the food, and put it in your mouth, and eat it the way it's supposed to. If you eat it the way it's not supposed to, it might choke you. Hallelujah. What is the point I'm trying to make? That there's always a part. God will not have appeared if everything was disorganized. So this morning, we're going to pray that God will begin to help you to organize your life and help you to follow instructions as it comes so that your family your life will be organized. God loves organization. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before the offering was offered, everything was in place. So this morning we're going to pray. We're going to open your mouth right now. Begin to pray for yourself. Say, Lord, help me to organize my life today. Help me this morning that everywhere I may go, I will be organized. Help me. Give me the energy. Give me the strength. Give me the skill to organize my life in a pattern that it will not be wrecked by confusion. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth. Yes, Lord. Help us. Master Kiabonato. Batro Imbrelegedus. Reba Santayabus, help us, Lord, to organize our lives. Help us, Lord. Makam Berubus, Impatana Siako, Vorobobobus, Jekuruma Impalaka, Dam de Lekebus, Reba Bababas, Ye Krabados Kintalababas, Reba Bababas, Reba Bababas, Zekerebebus in Patrocobus, Yaleba Ema Torobus Sakaya. Help us, Lord. Demand God to anoint you with strength and ability and the skill to organize your life, organize your life and the life of your children, the life of your family. Let there be an organization. Everything that has been scattered, 
Mata impala korobo. Ramese telebos. Oh Lord, as you cause the bone of Ezekiel, the bone in the book of Ezekiel, to join together, to join until they form a great army. Let my life join together. Every missing pieces of my life, bring it together, Lord. Open your mouth. Say, Lord, bring it together. Every missing piece of my life, cast us. Let the wind of God, let the spiritual wind, the power of God, bring every missing piece ah, that will make my life to be organized. Make my children to be organized in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring it together this morning. Anywhere it has flown away, anywhere it has been hidden, I command our peace to come together that my life will be organized. Yes, that your children's life will be organized. Open your mouth that your husband's life will be organized, that your wife's life with the organized, that your children's life begin to mention their names. Yes, that their life will be organized. Ye parabos, mate e paluka, zero mamos, kupranaya, zante e patala kasiabo, zero bo 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 Bring forth that peace that is missing. In the name of Jesus, wherever they are, Amasiabos, Yilabababos, that we will be able to stand like a great army. Iyakabas, Yerobos, Yandelebos, Yerobos, Mate Palekabos, Honto Siharibania, in the name of Jesus. Yende likanda ompro nogobo. Yiva satolobo sakaya. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yaruye ruya laba. Yaruye ruya laba. Yaruye ruya laba. Sekora bobos. Man shende lobobos. Robobobobobobobobobos. Mati In the name of Jesus. We give you glory. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We are still praying. We are still praying that every rejection that I have faced in my life will be totally taken away. Hallelujah. I want you to pray this prayer. There are three persons on this prayer line. Hallelujah. That feels rejected sometimes. And that spirit weakens your mind. It weakens you. Once that rejection sets in, you feel weak. We're going to pray right now that God will take away every spirit of rejection. Hallelujah. The Lord said to Solomon, when people forsake me and forsake my decree, I am going to reject even the temple. I'm going to reject where I'm supposed to be. I will reject it. Hallelujah. And the Lord said to me, Rejection, spirit of rejection. Find it this morning. Cast it out that your life will be organized in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth right now. I pray against every spirit of rejection, every spirit of rejection that makes you feel weak, makes you feel abandoned, makes you feel you don't want to leave, makes you feel that everyone is against you. Makes you feel you have nobody. Yes, spirit of rejection. We command 
by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, be dissolved this morning. I'm going to shout Holy Ghost for seven times. And the blood of Jesus Christ begin to command that every spirit of rejection will not continue in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Decree and pray. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Jesus mighty name. The blood of Jesus Christ. 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 The precious blood of Jesus Christ. Over the rise. Let your enemies be scattered. Do not keep silent. Yima Sante Impaloka. Zerobados Atekina Ingai. Luhrobo Sedani Kaya. Impatolos. Rapoto Kolobos. Ribabos. Ten Taibos. Meta Parakai. Zumelekenke. Onske Branaya. Lutema Askiabos. Ompe Tekisa. Lambe in Paruges, Rotlekes, Bakri Mahanga Sotaya. Every rejection we reject you this morning. We command fire against you. Let the fire come down and dissolve every rejection that we have faced in this life. In the name of Jesus Christ, every rejection attacking you, attacking your children, attacking your family. We reject it this morning. We release the fire. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anywhere that the enemy has made you a byword and an object of ridicule, hallelujah, let the table turn this morning. We're going to exchange Every by word for fame and every ridicule for celebration. God is going to change your family from a by word family to a celebrating family. A by word, hallelujah, to become a chief cornerstone, <laughs> someone that cannot be done with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When they plan, they have to include you. Hallelujah. <laughs> when they plan, if you are not included, that plan cannot go through. God is going to change it this morning. From being a byword sister, a byword family, to become one of the chief corner soul. Ain't none of us right. Open your mouth right now. We exchange every by word to become chief cornerstone in the name of Jesus Christ. That when they plan, they cannot execute their plan without including you. You will become important. Yes, that place that have made you a by word will make you an important person in the name of Jesus Christ. Table is turning. Every spirit that have clothed you with a byword garment, we reject it this morning. We command by power in the name of Jesus Christ. We change your status to become an important personality. <laughs> VIP from a byword to a VIP. Even in your office, even in your family, even in your relationship, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Exchanging ridicule to celebrity in the name of Jesus Christ. When they see you, they shall celebrate, they shall rejoice. Even this morning, Hallelujah. Hey, open your mouth. Begin to command that every ridicule clothes, every ridicule garment that have been placed on you, spiritual ridicule garment, spiritual ridicule garment shall be exchanged.
change to a celebrity garment in the name of Jesus Christ that your family will celebrate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, your workplace will celebrate you. Yemen, Yebobos, in Sekekekekebobos, Yorobobobo Kumteyibana, Yambratekebos. Anywhere you go, you become a celebrity in Kabaros because of what God is doing this morning. He's exchanging your garment of ridicule to a celebrity garment in the name of Jesus Christ. Your children shall be celebrated. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We give God glory. Every heap of rubbles that have taken over your family, instead of your family to be an organized family, the enemy dump heap of rubbles in that family. We're going to shout Holy Ghost five seven times, the blood of Jesus seven times. And we're going to command the tornado of God. Let tornado, tornado come and begin to wipe every heap of rubbles. Let it be carried to the north that it will disappear. The northern wind, we're going to command the northern wind to carry every spiritual rubble, heap of rubbles that have been dumped in your family to wipe away this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost fire, decree and pray, Holy Ghost fire, 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 Holy Ghost fire in Jesus' mighty name, the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ. 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 The precious of God Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise. Let your enemies be scattered. Do not keep silent. Yes, Lord. We command that the northern wind will blow every heap of rubbles that have been dumped in my family, that have been dumped in my life. Wipe them away. Yes, Lord. Let the tornado Come and wipe them away that there will be no trace of any robbers. We command by the power in the name of Jesus Christ that the northern wind, hey, this morning you shall begin to experience the joy that you have never experienced before. You shall begin to see the favor you have never seen before. You shall begin to walk in the path of prosperity and power and glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Those concepts that you have been studying that, have, that, that you cannot understand, God is opening your mind right now to understand it, to catch it. Yes, that those answers will come to you. Those lifeboats you have been looking for, God has established it. It is all to you. It has been given to you right now. Yes, take it in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you glory, Lord. We thank you for what you have done. We give you thanks. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want you to begin to thank God. Begin to give God the glory. Begin to give him praise for what he has done this morning. For what he has done. Just give him thanks. Say, Lord, I thank you. Yes, don't keep quiet. Thank him because, hey, something is happening right now. Oh, ma, say, leke, 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 leke. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Begin to cover yourself with the blood of Christ. Cover your family. Cover your life. Cover your car. Cover your house. There shall be no accident. No fire accident, no car accident. Hallelujah. 
No dropping down on your workplace. No breaking of waist. Hallelujah. No twisting of ankle. Yes. Any twisting of ankle, any pain in your body, I command right now for that pain to disappear. Be healed of any kind of sickness. I command healing upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. No headaches, no symptoms, your neck paining you. You are feeling, feeling symptoms of cold, of fever. I command you right now, disappear in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Please remember to share this prayer line. Encourage your friends and family to join us into this morning breakfast prayer. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you and continue to keep you. And we'll see you by this time tomorrow. Bye-bye.